Today's video is how to set up dual callouts on assigned switches. So let's get started. Setting up dual callouts is important when you have multiple switches that have the same callout. An example of that would be when you're going through your low, medium, and high rates for different control surfaces. So instead of having elevator here and rudder here, just saying low, medium, and high, it will actually say rudder high rate, elevator high rate. If you're not familiar with how to set up audio events, I have a video previously on the channel. You may want to go ahead and check that out first. So let's scroll down to audio events, go to switch changes. Here I have silence for B, C, F, and G, and then high, medium, and low rates for B, C, F, G. I want to set it up this way to give you guys a clear understanding of what I'm talking about when I'm saying to set up the dual callouts. You only get eight callouts total. So if you set up a dual callout for one switch, that's not one callout, that's actually two. So if you did that for four channels, that's going to take up the eight callouts. So you have to be careful, you're limited. You don't have to do them four here and four here. You could do your control surface here and then low, medium, and high rates here. The main concept of setting this up is where the switch coordinates on the list on how it does the callout. What I mean by that is, let's say up here at 1, we're going to put that on switch B, which is the rudder callout. Down here, it's got high, medium, and low rates. So as long as high, mid, and low rates on switch B is after this other B, it will work. It doesn't matter if this line right here is at number three, it's at number four, it's at number seven. That doesn't matter. The way that the transmitter calls it out is the first command it comes to, which is line one, and the second command it comes to. Switch C, the first command it comes to, which is line two. The second line it comes to, which is six. So it just goes in order. First one, second one. First one, second one, and all the way down the list. So what we're going to do is set up B for our rudder callouts. Push enter. And I'm just going to change this to rudder on all three. And this method works for any control surface and any callout you want to do. So you can compound words together for different things. Here's rudder. Do the same thing. As I mentioned, set it up on all three positions. Position 0, 1, and 2. Now we'll set it up on the last one. Let's go back. You can see it's going to call out rudder first because that's the first line for switch B. Then it coordinates with the second line, which is line 5, high rates, mid rates, and low rates. So let's try it out. So now you can see we've got it calling out rudder high rates, rudder mid rates, and rudder low rates. I hope you all learned something new today or you found this video informative. If you did, push the like button. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.